Hi class, this is Lee again. It's the same day. I want to show you guys how to upload websites uh, to the web, okay? So I'm gonna go through this as briefly as possible. And it's uh, pretty simple once you get the hang of it in the routine. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of complicated things about it that I, I'm not aware of, but I often run into them. I'm gonna give it a shot here. Okay, so here's my advice. If you're interested, um, bluehost.com. This is a really great web hosting company. So if you've got a domain that you're interested in using like radicalsurfers.com or something, you want to go in here, see if it's available. If it is, you can buy it like six, seven dollars a month, a year, sorry, or something like that. It's really not that expensive um, unless a third party's selling it. Anyway, bluehost.com, excellent. And they're super helpful. There's live chats so you can get technical support and they'll walk you through all of these things that I'm about to show you. Um, okay, so once you have that ability, you'll be given certain code, uh, certain passwords and usernames so that you can access F. FTP. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol and it's basically the cloud, right? So that you can put things up in the cloud and then other places can get them back down to their computers and you can share files and everything is stored and transferred. Um, so, you know, enough about that, but you need an FTP server. Okay, the one I like to use is called FileZilla and basically what this does is it connects me to my FTP and my desktop, my computer, so that I can transfer files to um, the cloud basically. All right, so I'm gonna do quick connect, which is like this, and really what you'll need is your host, your username, and your password, um, but I have a quick connect because I do it often and then I'm going to my public HTML, underscore HTML, and this is a directory that's already been set up by the web hosting company. So as you can see, I've got all these different websites that I build for different projects. This is the shower project. Uh, enough about that. There's playing a part. Here's the Gatewood Gallery, which you all know, um, the Super G. Anyway, long story short, the Gatewood Gallery website is the one that I use for this class, if you haven't noticed. Um, so in here, there's a series of uh, subfolders. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to find the Gatewood website. I'm going to find, what am I doing? I am going to go to my actual desktop and we're going to use Lang's final folder for her final web project, her homepage. And I'm going to take that folder and if you look inside, it's got an index, it's got some images and a little bit of style, pretty radical. And I'm going to drop that into my folder, my website folder. And I'm going to um, go up here, I'm going to find it and I'm going to put it in the Gatewood website. Okay, and so now it's in the Gatewood website. Whew. All right, so now when I go to my program here, it's showing me all the stuff in my Gatewood website. And sure enough, um, having technical diff. All right, sure enough, I should be able to find it. There it is, Yang Lang Final. So let's see, I don't know why I'm not able to grab my I'm not able to grab my filezilla there it is okay bear with me so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this I'm gonna drag it over here I'm gonna drop it into the Gatewood Gallery site and if you look down here you can see it's transferring all those files up into the cloud so it should be there now when I click on this folder, there it is, okay? 
So if I double click that, it's going to show me what's inside of it and all of the folders and the index are there. So it is officially online. Let's see if we can find it. So we'll go Gatewood Gallery. Um, okay, and then we want the exact path. So we're looking at this path right here, copy. This is the name of the folder. Forward slash, meaning keep going, keep looking, index.html. And voila, it is alive and well, living in the public universe of the net world culture, whatever it is. So very nice looking site, uh, pretty slick, and it is live. So I will send this link to all of you along with this video. Enjoy. That's uh, a really rough and tumble tutorial on how it's done. But Bluehost is your key. Those technicians will walk you through the process that I just showed you step by step until it happens. Uh, that's how I learned it from them. Okay, bravo.